it shouldn't have taken so long. This video should have done it much earlier, but it's just me, I mean, there was a huge amount of tasks I had to finish, and there is a lot of them still undone, but I felt it's time to cut through before the whole idea of doing these tutorials goes seriously dead. So, yeah, I'm bad at the scheduling things, never did one, honestly, and please, bear with me, and my apologies. One, two, three, ho! So, hello everyone and welcome to the second episode of DC Cinema Photography Tutorials. In this episode, we are going to talk about eye candy ground shots and another track fall trick, which is super simple. So, let's get into it. Have you ever wondered what are the common ways to start a DC movie properly? Well, there are a few, but the one actually I'm going to talk about today is the one I consider as the most proper and yet the easiest one. Um, well, I actually think that a ground shot is probably the best way you got to start your video. The reasoning behind it is that most of the epic music out there, you know, most of the trailer music out there, um, it usually starts with a slow but building up phase which simply means you can't really start with an intense shot which you're like you know having super quick camera movements so you should start with something like these shots something that delivers the same vibe that the music does There is a trick to it which is quite necessary, if you ask me. Um, in order of shooting such, what I usually do is to go to F2 view, place my camera somewhere which suits my camera movement and field of view, as well as, you know, light reflection and other things on the plane. Um, then I go Control F11, so the camera will transform to a free F11 view but from the right, same position it was placed in F2. This allows me to move my camera toward a specific direction just by using my mouse code. But the necessary trick to all of this is a simple change you're gonna make in an LUA file 
called server located in your view folder inside the config folder of your DCS installation directory. The change you're gonna make is at line 7 where you should change the camera turn restriction from true to false. Now what is it for exactly? Well, it does exactly what it says. If you go to any external camera such as F2 or F11, if you pay close attention you will realize there is like an invisible floor like you know, a meter or two above the ground. And um, this change will remove that invisible floor and let you stick your camera right to the ground. So here is the difference between how it was and how it will be. Now you are much more open handed with your camera and there are a lot of cool stuff you can do. For example you can make some dolly shots like this by simply moving the camera forward to the plane and increasing your full of view. Well, the second thing is also related to this LUA edit you gotta do. Every time you update your DCS, you gotta go and edit that LUA file. It always goes back to its default. But there is another way around it that does even more. Imagine you're gonna get some track files from your friend, like you've been on a server together and for whatever reason it is, you can't find your own track file of it. Your friend sends you his own track files but you will face that invisible floor as your friend has not probably done that LUA edit. So it's not applied to that track file either. The workaround of this thing is to simply open your track file with WinRAR. You open your track file with your WinRAR, you'll see the same config folder you had in your DCS folder. You go in there, you open the view folder and do the same change to the server.lua. Save the change both in the LUA file and WinRAR and now you've disabled that camera thing restriction of a trackfall that wasn't coming from your DCS. So that's pretty much it for this episode. Again, I'm sorry it took so long. I wanted to talk about something easier this episode so I can stop the delay you know cut through and come up with something um, I hope you guys find this useful thanks for watching and until next